Yes, Kaylin's pregnant again. <laughs> to tell you that I'm pregnant again. Good morning, Georgia. Do you need a, a binky? Oh, the hiccups again. There you go. You the hiccups? I cannot believe how fast the last couple weeks have gone. Um, I intended to get a lot more video footage and at the end of the day we did a lot of photos and not a lot of video just because we were really trying to enjoy being in the present through um, all the stuff that's been going on. There's been some really really high highs and there have been some very low lows. So we're gonna rewind a little bit. Um, Anna went home with my mom and dad a few weeks ago on May 5th and she hung out with my parents for a full week while we were preparing for um, our baby and she went down there and was a part of my mom's preschool and she played on the tractor and with a bunch of toys and she just had an absolute blast while she was there. I'm so thankful that she wasn't here when we were at the hospital. I think it would have been really strange for her just to be hanging out here with my mom so she was distracted and having a great time with my mom and my dad um, down in Oregon. Fast forward to May 10th was the big day. Um, and we woke up at five. No, we left at five. We woke up at 4.15 in the morning and we headed up to the hospital. Really, really well. 
Georgia May is so precious. She's been so easy. She's just got such a sweet spirit and she's just she's just easy. I did not know an infant could be a newborn could be this easy before. My mom and dad met us here at the house when we got home from the hospital and they brought Anna to meet her new little sister. Amidst all of that, we woke up Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning. We woke up Tuesday morning and maybe normally sleeps at the foot of our bed. Actually, that's where she is right now. <laughs> that's where she sleeps at night. So that's where she sleeps every night and normally Dan gets up and goes to work and she stays in here and then when I get up and I leave the room she's jumping up and following me and she didn't do that Tuesday and I didn't notice until probably 8 o'clock she finally wandered out to go outside and use the yard and her face her jowls had swollen it looked like a bee sting I'd seen photos of dogs that had um, gotten stung by bees and how their faces puffed up because they you know bite at the bumblebees and they'd end up eating them and getting stung so she looks really bad really uncomfortable and I call a home vet thankfully we found a vet that could come to our house so she came out and took a look at maybe and we started her on Benadryl a pretty heavy dose so three days went by and the Benadryl had not done anything and the swelling had gotten so bad maybe couldn't open her eyes The other the only other thing the vet had suggested that it could be was lymphoma Which seemed like a huge leap from an allergic reaction to eating something or bee sting to cancer um, But after the Benadryl didn't work we brought the vet back to the house and had maybe tested and then we found out Friday morning that she does in fact have lymphoma cancer currently we have her on steroids that are a treatment for the symptom of her face being puffy and she looks a lot more normal now she looks like her normal happy self but you know steroids are a very harsh medicine that are not a long-term solution so Unfortunately, amidst this like really joyous week of we have this new amazing member of our family and all of that is going so smoothly, we realize that we will probably be losing um, really our first our first baby. We're gonna have to put um, put her down in the next couple days. Um, and that's really difficult. It's been a really emotional week and um, I'm really glad I had my mom here for support so that I could process that information and not have to be worrying about taking care of Anna. She, you know, was awesome at helping me take care of Anna during those moments. So, so we're going to keep her on the steroids for a while just so she's really comfortable and happy and um, I don't want her to suffer through the last few days. Hi. Hi. I'm coming. I'm, the girl's hungry. All right. Well, I'm gonna come out right now and help out. Hi, sweetheart. I got these cookies. I got cookies. Maybe. Um. How about some oatmeal? Not more. Maybe we can compromise. How's that sound? I don't know, but they did. The babies. The babies? How about some oatmeal? No! Oh, okay, just say no thank you. 
How about we go to the kitchen together? We'll find something. Can you hold this? Okay, I'll follow you. The other really funny thing that happened is that um, we've been fed up with our floors forever. Um, our carpet is really cheap and stained and it's just gross. So we've been talking and saving for kind of like a laminate um, or a vinyl floor for our living room for a long time. And Dan finally said, go to the store with your mom and pick whatever you want. So babe, is this laminate or a vinyl? Laminate. Okay. So this is the floor we picked. I love it. My favorite thing about it is that the board sizes are different. So it has really wide, kind of medium, and then these little skinny boards too. So this is the carpet that we've had before. And <laughs> excuse the saw. So it gets stains like this that are really not a big deal. On most carpets you could clean it up, but this carpet's just cruddy and cheap. I'm so excited. Maybe supervising, as always. Uh, I don't know, I think it looks okay. Just gotta keep this guy working. If he doesn't have enough soda, then he gets really derailed and jittery. So I gotta stay right here and make sure he keeps working. Oh, this corner looks nice, it's good. Well, it smells okay. It's a little slippery. Oh, and that's the, <laughs> that's the disaster that is the kitchen. I'm really impressed we got it all to fit indoors. I thought we were gonna have to put the couch outside while we did the, the construction-y work. <laughs> what are you eating? <laughs> What's that? What is it? Berries. And what's this? Is it cottage cheese? Cheese. Is it yummy yummy? The orange? And I think you're all cut up. So this today is Saturday and um, we're just spending some time at the house while Dan works on the floor. Uh, we have a, a party that we were invited to later for a friend's child that we will go to probably just to get out of the house and let everybody meet Georgia May and um, I think it'll be good for Anna because right now she doesn't really have anywhere to play because the living room is ripped up. So to go to a, a birthday party for a one year old, there's surely gotta be some fun stuff to do there with friends. I actually got ready today, which is nice. Um, I realize that's gonna be a rare occasion for this season of life and Anna's all occupied right now and George is sleeping so I was like, I'm gonna get ready and feel cute today cause I'm gonna start out today strong. So I've got little Georgia in her bassinet just hanging out. We're keeping everybody out of daddy's way while he's working. This little one's been so good this morning. Can you say good morning? Mm, she's just been all snuggly in her jammies. It's the life. Who doesn't want to be two years old? Laying in mommy and daddy's bed in your jammies all morning watching cartoons. Yeah.